West End, but we're going to head over toward the AU Center to show you just how close this area is to downtown, plus go visit one of my old haunts, Peter Street. Here we go. I think. No. That's not it. Oh, man. You can get to see the new dome. All right. Just wanted to make sure that I took the right turn. And this is... It's not like... Well, how can I say it? The area is much better than it used to be. It used to be horrible. It used to be Crack Alley. I don't know if you can see this development over here. But this is clearly new. That's very new. You got probably people riding bikes. Just trying to figure out, oh, this is all new. So you can kind of see, aha, this is where I want to be. All this is new. And it's pretty nice. Don't know the name of it, but clearly. Uh, this has built, been built in recent years. Peter Street has always been an area of gentrification. There are million dollar lofts over there. And there's a lot of activity, there's a lot of people over there. When I was trying to do some filming years ago, probably 2015, I just had a camcorder and a tripod. And so many people thought that I was like making a movie. Hey man, I could be a star. It was wild. I think this is it. I'm on the chance don't know if this is the one. Nope, it is not. But we will figure it out. You will see a lot of people walking and I'm about to hang a, oh cool, very, very cool. So I'm about to hang a Yui. Bust a Yui, go up on the sidewalk. As you can see, there ain't nothing over here except warehouses. And cheap, cheap land because of what they're using it for industrial purposes. I fully expect this to disappear at some point. There's a church there. Seriously, because this is at some point going to be extremely valuable land. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed about gentrification is it wipes out, it, it moves toward the the better properties very quickly. Okay, yeah, I, I turned too early. Here we go. More new development. So you could say quasi hood. This pawn shop has been here forever. And apparently, they still got some stuff going on. Now, you see straight ahead, that's downtown Atlanta. I mean, literally, okay. Um, and the dome's over there. Let's see. I'm just bogarting all over the place. This is the U-Haul uh, that I got so many good deals out of. Now, I should say one of the reasons that this U-Haul was so lucrative is for a long, long time, for years, it was the only storage facility downtown Atlanta. Now, I don't know if you saw that to the left, to the right. These are lofts. There are people who live here. They live above. There's artists. It's a very trendy up-and-coming type situation I think this building is a loft over here that's clearly a loft to the left to the right and these are not cheap when you look at the cars parked outside you see BMWs you see Mercedes and these people are not renting they are buying so for some people it's not that big of a trade-off because if you're coming from Baltimore, New York, uh, Philly, and this is a deal, you know, comparing to what you would pay up there. This is not a problem for those people. Not at all. Now, 
One of the things about downtown Atlanta is it's not really that big. It's not big at all. You'll be able to get through this very, very quickly. And what I'm going to do is kind of move up toward, let's see, do I want to, all right, I'm Bogart. Just driving all kind of crazy. And this is, this is downtown Atlanta. Apparently there are some serious clubs, Iron Palm, Tattoo, all right, Forsyth. Yeah, we're definitely in the DT of the ATL. And I'm gonna have to bust a left because I will actually go up by the Capitol, which is that gold dome that just disappeared behind that building. This is another real frustrating thing about downtown Atlanta. There is a lot of one-way streets. And you gotta be really, really careful to make sure that you don't, because a lot of them are not clearly marked and you can turn into one in a heartbeat. It is really, really kind of dangerous, really. All right, so I need to go into one of these parking spots and do something real quick. And this one looks like a good one because I'm not going to stay here. So I don't have to worry about getting booted. Oh, look at that. He's like, hey, hook me up. Now, this uh, parking is so cheap because it is so far from everything. And you see that red building? I think that's a government building. A lot of people keep asking me, what am I driving? So it is a 2012 BMW X5M. It's kind of like a sleeper. It um, has a lot of horsepower, like a crazy amount of horsepower. But yeah, this is what it is because I see the comments. So this is what I'm driving. All right, so we are back on the prowl. Now, as you can see, Downtown Atlanta is kind of empty. It's not a lot that's going on down here because it pretty much the sidewalks roll up and it is a done deal. You've got some corporations down here, but most of the corporate headquarters are in my neighborhood. We'll get to that later. But you've got what is that? Is that the courthouse? I mean, Monday through Friday, this is not as easy to navigate. It's crowded. There's a lot of people around. That's one of the reasons that I came down here today, just to kind of get it out of the way. The downtown section of Atlanta is somewhat of a ghost town after dark and after working hours you'll see a few people you'll see some homeless people you'll see a few things but once uh, the, the, these offices close and there's a lot of government work I forget is that the equitable building in front of us now with that said I would love to own one of these buildings I would love it <laughs> I mean oh man I remember coming here when I was poor there is a check cashing store that's I think I don't know and you notice that all of the storefronts are have roll down doors and this is five point smarter station and to the right is underground and let's see I used to it's a, it's a trip navigating in there. It really is. All right, so over to your right, you'll see Georgia Tech. Not Georgia Tech. Georgia State. Man, they on those 22s. They're rolling. This clock's been here forever. Okay, 
we're going, you got George Pacific, you have that Walgreens has been there forever. Now, these buildings, I, like I said, I would love to own one of these buildings because even though downtown Atlanta, okay, Georgia State stuff over there, uh, the money that they make, because like I said, you got a lot of government things in here, and this one building on the corner is actually residence. Now, this is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting because you have people who live down here. Some of these old buildings, they've converted to upscale condos and you'll see people walking around and believe it or not this stuff's cheaper down here than where we're going to eventually end up it really is because downtown like it looks like we're still in downtown now <laughs> pay attention because uh we're not going to be in downtown long now this is clearly some residences or is this a hotel i don't know but I really don't know. And this is still, we're still in downtown. It's got some interesting charm. Then over here, well, you can't see it, but I used to spend a lot of time in that library, which is kind of back there. The library was very well equipped. All right. And Peachtree Center, Marta Station, and we're out of downtown. <laughs> now we're getting into the outer edge of Midtown, and you'll see that a lot of things have changed. A lot of things have, uh, you see that the, the complexion of the people walking around has changed. You see there's a lot of young and old suburbanites who've moved into downtown into these older buildings that they have turned into condos. Now there was one I'm going to tell you a little dirty little story maybe not so dirty, I can leave that out but this is kind of the beginning of Midtown it could be considered downtown but where is this building I'm trying to see it uh, I actually used to work at the Powertel or T-Mobile or whatever it is in Peachtree Center and that was a, a source of a lot of stories but notice things have changed considerably right <laughs> it's kind of funny uh, this building right here on the corner it used to date a girl that lived in it and it has been re I mean it's it's very vintage it's very vintage it's very rustic and the Ritz, she was doing, because she was here as a contractor, she was doing probably $1,300 a month for a two-bedroom with a small kitchen and stuff. And she was probably on the 13th floor, I think. But once again, notice that the complexion has changed drastically from downtown Atlanta to the tip of Midtown. And once we cut through here apparently they're having some cheerleading competition uh, there's a lot of hotels around here and they're like she's like I'm gonna run so I don't want you to hit me I used to work in the Sun Trust building I actually had a friend I need to check on her because she she worked the Sun Trust for about 14 15 years and she just got this killer job killer like double her income and she was already making six figures so very very nice upgrade in her life I used to work in the SunTrust building at the Gallup organization which was on like the 22nd 23rd floor and you just can't go in there and go into an office you get they, there's a key card and this was in the 90s so I'm quite sure it's even more high-tech than it was now than it is than it was then all right can you see it probably and we are clearly about to go straight up into Midtown. Now, if you notice, this is where a lot of the development is. This is where a lot of the housing is. It's fairly interesting because downtown Atlanta, other than its corporate presence, it doesn't have much going for it. I mean, underground is not underground of old. 
years ago, you go to underground, you, you have your friends, your family. Now, we're definitely in Midtown. You'll see Crawford Long or what used to be considered Crawford Long. Now it's Emory Hospital. And then we're going to get to the Fabulous Fox. And I just want you to see the transformation from downtown Atlanta to Midtown to Center Midtown. It is so remarkable. I would love to own that building. Because even though it's old, it's money. And the thing is, for any of you who are in the real estate, if you ever get the opportunity to buy a commercial building, do it. Do it. There's so many ways you can make money with that. So I guess this is Emory University Hospital Midtown. That's funny. It used to be Crawford Long. Um, I think Gladys Chicken and Waffles is around here somewhere. Or it was. Not sure. Because I remember this chick I used to date. I used to do a lot of dating. That's why you're going to hear me reference that. Because uh, when I talk to other people, I realize a lot of folks haven't done that amount of interacting in personal relations. Just not. Okay, so you can see that. That's the Fabulous Fox. And I got to tell you, back in the day, that was an awesome date spot. You know, for those who know what dating is, uh, I know some of the younger generation who are watching this, they're, they're not, <laughs> not going to know what dating is. They're not, they're not going to have a clue. Uh, a date would be you get dressed, put on your shoes, she puts on her heels, she dresses up, she smells good, you look good, she looks good. You go out, you have dinner, you catch a show. I saw In Vogue, Freddie Jackson, Jeffrey Osborne. I, so many acts at the Fabulous Fox. I mean, it, it was an icon. I guess to a degree it still is. But there was a lot of good times there. Now, this building, they're renovating. And they're, these are all over here to the, to the right are going to be apartments. Now, the Mayfair, they turned this old apartment building. Well, I guess it's always been a hotel. But this is a serious hotel. I mean, it is serious. The Georgian Terrace. It's a serious hotel. If you ever get a chance to stay in Atlanta, uh, they like little apartments and suites. It's kind of swank. It's kind of pricey. It's like three-something to five-something per night. But if you get a chance, you should do that. Now, we're in Midtown. Right? Notice the difference. Notice it's cleaner. Notice that a lot of the older buildings have been torn down. And they've built a lot of skyscrapers. And it's, it's funny because I think that Midtown is a buffer between Buckhead and Atlanta. I, I know it sounds kind of crazy. But that's just the way that I see it. Because the price differential between those buildings and condos that I, we saw in downtown Atlanta on the edge is twice or three times the, as, um, as less as these are. Uh, these bad boys go for bank. I mean, 1500 for a for about 400 square feet. I am not joking you. See, you got folks here riding the bikes. It's a totally, oh man, a quick trip? Now, that should tell you something. Quick Trip is a very smart company. Quick Trip does not put its stores in places that they can lose. They don't do that. So, I should tell you something about this area. I was up and coming. It's very white. I, I'm just going to say that. It didn't used to be. It used to be very gay. And when I say gay, it was very black gay, white gay, Hispanic gay. Probably on some of the side streets it still is, but this whole drag was like that. And that used to be the Georgia Department of Human Resources. I had to go in there and get certified for my medical laboratory technician certification years and years ago. But, oh, this ain't nothing. This is just the beginning of Swank. As we keep going, because what happens is as you go down the street, it's going to get more and more expensive, more exclusive, more high-end. 
and this is really good for me that used to be a Starbucks <laughs> now it's something else you're going to see so many things I mean there's a, like if you like new restaurants you like trendy stuff now what's funny is in this area you'll see some old buildings like that white building there this building uh, which has a law firm in it because it used to date a chick who worked there and she had some really nice legs I mean like oh my god not so great of a personality but her legs were the bomb so you're going to get and why are you just sitting here okay I don't understand that now I do so you will now this is clearly a new building I looked at it I think it's the mezzo not sure about like three grand for a two-bedroom up in there if you can rent one uh, I think it's a condo so it's midtown and you just now that building to the left is because Piedmont Park is just over there I mean literally half a mile away is Piedmont Park and then you would have so many because if I was going to live downtown and I didn't do Buckhead I would live here you have easy access to the highway you can get to the park really quick and you've got some killer hotels around here there's the W over there and it's a really really swank area because the residential area that's behind this those are mostly million dollar homes Alrighty then. That was special. I think that was a training. Uh, this, you can actually rent office. Oh, WeWork. They got that. There was a, you can rent offices in there. WebMD. Very interesting. Now, we're going to come up toward the High Museum of Art. Which is, I'm probably going to just do a tour there. Because I like art. I think it's cool. So that's it to the left. And if you want to date, they have a lot of free programs, make you look smooth and sophisticated. I mean, seriously, just go to the website, see what that's got going on. During the summer, they used to have screen on the green, which I don't think I'll be able to show you unless I actually take the camera down. And it was like awesome. There, there's a lot of free stuff to do in Atlanta if you know where to look that makes you look sophisticated it makes you look you know and it, this is like one of the first signs of spring because today it was like 70 degrees and all of the motorcycle clubs come out there was one it must have been about 80 bikes deep I don't know if that was one club or two clubs but yeah they still got that I used to work which building? That's new. The building to the right. And that is definitely residences. So I forget what was there, but they, they tricked that out. And the, you know, for those of you who like the Alliance Theater, it's over there. And that's the museum. Older buildings. So we're just going through Midtown notice that it's just really different from downtown and there's so much money here there's a crazy amount of money here there's a lot of tech companies uh, we work has offices here and where we work goes and there's a new building that's going up because the co-working spaces align their business model into placement where areas are going to grow they don't put them in areas that are already matured. So if you see a WeWork or something like that, know that further growth is coming. A lot more. Let's see. Now we're about to hit Buckhead. And you see how big Midtown is compared to downtown. Downtown is just like a hiccup. Because we're still in Midtown. Everyone's got their lights on. It's not that dark. Not in my opinion. But I could be biased. 
that steel case ahead? That's actually an office furniture dealer. That, they've been in that location for like forever. They get the nice juicy jobs. Yes, I still have some of my office furniture chops. Very old, very historic. Um, I think there's a homeless shelter around here. I'm not sure, but I think there is one. Luxury apartments. They don't even they don't even play with it. It's like look, we're luxury apartments. That's the name with luxury apartments. And the rent here is sick. Just let you know. And you notice how much nicer it is for a longer period of time than downtown Atlanta. Now I think downtown Atlanta is gonna come back once the prices get to the point where they're just too irresistible to ignore. But the way that I see that they're building, because what they're doing, and I'm not going to do it today, but I'm going to do a Buckhead as kind of like a special, a special video. It deserves its own video, because I know, it might be two or three videos, because I don't know where the nooks and crannies are. I know where you can get really cheap stuff. I know where you can get crazy stuff. And I might, if Burma will let me do it, I'll tell you a little story. Uh, when I thought I was going to be a reality television star, I would have had the first storage auction show. I was looking at condos. Now, this was like 2010-ish or 11-ish. And these condos in the Sovereign, which is the most expensive and exclusive condos, well, close to it, they were like 750000 I know that sounds like a lot, but these they're now like $1.5 and $2 million. So I was trying to get in there. <laughs> in Burma, she met me and she was real nice. May call up and like, hey, I don't know if you remember me, but yeah, uh, I, I'll do that as a special type deal. Morning Star Storage, oh my! Like I said, I haven't really done this, so this is like good. R. Thomas, that's a vegan place, and they have all kinds of cool stuff. And what time is it? It's only five o'clock, and it's getting so dark. Now, remember what I said about we working. Uh, we work only gets an area that's growing. Look at these cranes. You see one, two, three. There was cranes back there. Now, when these folks commit to build a building, they do a bond issue. So all the money, even money for overrides, is there because no city wants to have a skeleton of a building half built. They they will not even approve you unless you are abundantly financed for that. So whatever's going to go up, even if we have a recession, it's still going up. Huh. That was torn down, so the building's going there. They tore down what, there was a gas station on that corner, that's gone. What you see over there is Piedmont Hospital, which is like growing like crazy. And this building has been here forever. Wow. Well, I have not been over here in a long, long time, so I didn't know all this was happening. Very, very interesting. Now, we're almost out of Midtown. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Notice how big it is compared to downtown. Notice how luxurious it is. Notice how much money is in it. It's just real interesting how that keeps being a theme. I think P. Diddy's Club is there. I think that used to be Justin's. And now it's um, a Houston's. I'm not sure. Maybe I got it wrong. Or that It's around here somewhere. I don't know which one. I never went. I was never so inclined to go. Alright. And, whoa. Alright. I didn't want to run into them. Now that's an older condo that you can actually, they're pretty big. They don't look like much from the outside, but you can get like 1,500 square foot, 1,700 floor pans, two, two bedrooms. So here in Midtown, some of your best deals are your older condos because
because they have bigger floor plans, like much bigger floor plans, and they're cheaper. You know, so if you can deal with a building that may not be aesthetically pleasing on the outside, you can more than make up for it on the inside. Yes, we're still in Midtown. And we're going to come across some very nice buildings. And see, I'm kind of heading home. So that's why I came this way. Oh, you... Oh, are you two together? That's funny. The houses off to the side street are usually very character driven they're very expensive even to rent uh, you're going to rent one you're going to be looking at two to four grand seriously and what else is going on here we're still in Midtown I know it's kind of crazy now these buildings here are uh, not that one but this one they're million dollar condo nope where is it where is it because I looked at it because I was like I, I really want to move down here now these are pretty reasonable the 2460 Peachtree apartments um, Is there a bus ahead? I don't know. I'm trying to think, because as you come up here, you run across them. Okay, it's not. It's these that are about to come up to the left. These suckers are a million dollars a piece, and I think this is where the rich people from Buckhead and West Paces Ferry they come because you know if you're older, living in a one-unit apartment. One level apartment, well some of them are two, with no stairs, and I don't know what used to be there, but it's gone. They tore something down. And I guarantee you, they're going to build something. It's going to be at least 20, 20, 50, 20, 25 stories. I don't know if that's a residence. I think it is. I think it is. All right, so this building here on the left, not the first one, but the one behind it, those condos are pretty reasonable and they're huge. And yes, we are still in Midtown. Crazy, isn't it? Now those are residences over there. And here, that one building that you can barely see to the left, that just kind of sticks out by itself, that is, um, let's see what he's going to do. That's called the Madison. They have a co-op. You can't move in there unless they approve you. And they are nice. They are super nice. All right. Now, this is East Wesley. There's a nice, really, well, no, that school isn't there anymore. I don't know what's there. Uh, we're about to exit Midtown. Crazy, isn't it? Kind of boggles my mind. And then we're going to get into Buckhead. Which is very, very different. Alright, so this kind of concludes this tour of downtown to Midtown. If you want to move to Atlanta and you, you like that gritty city feel if you want to deal with some stuff in downtown you can get a deal uh, beginning of midtown you can still get a deal moving over here um, you're going to have to go for the older condos or if you want to pay $2,500 for a two bedroom one bath house maybe three grand yeah we're officially now in Buckhead
and this is a whole different this is a whole different video it's a whole the whole different video I, I, I will just not even get into it now this is if you come into Atlanta with some money this if you got about 30 40 grand saved you got a job yeah this this is where you can do this now with that said this place there is really cheap <laughs> it's really small but it's really cheap all right so if you want to see more Atlanta videos because uh, I'm gonna do a lot more because uh, there's a lot that I want to talk about just go ahead and subscribe go ahead and leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video